Hey guys, so in this video we're going to look at the determinant. So the determinant is, is something which applies to uh, our matrices, and it's something which we're going to learn how to calculate, but we're not really going to learn what it is, we're just going to learn how to calculate it. Um, so when we're looking at a matrix, we have these terms, and up here I've drawn a matrix, and you, you would be used to seeing them with numbers, so 1, 2, 3, and 10, like this, but instead what I've done here is I've replaced them with A, B, C, and D, just so that this example is going to be a little bit easier for us to follow. So just imagine these A, B, C, and D are numbers and that we can multiply them together and we can minus one from the other and they're just treated like numbers as if they're A, B, C, and D. So what we're going to say is that this determinant is going to be equal to our diagonal terms here multiplied together. So these two terms here. So we're going to have our determinants multiplied a and this little dot here just means multiplied by so it's going to be a multiplied by d and then we what we're going to do is we're going to subtract our opposite opposite terms so we're going to minus away our b multiplied by our c so we've got our b here and it's going to be that multiplied by C. So the determinant is A multiplied by D, take away our B multiplied by C. And this is for a 2 by 2 matrix. So this is a 2 by 2 matrix. So say we wanted to calculate the determinant down here. We've got this example where we have a matrix which has the numbers 1, 2, 3, and 10. So what you can see is that the numbers here they, they're color coded, so they correspond to the above matrix. So we said it was going to be A times D minus B times C, or green multiplied by, by blue minus purple multiplied by yellow. So if we go down here, it's going to be A, which is our top left hand term in our matrix. So it's going to be 1 multiplied by our D. So our D is our bottom right hand term, and that's going to be 10. So it's going to be 1 multiplied by 10. Oops. And then we're going to subtract our opposite side terms. So it's going to be B, which here is 2. So our B is 2, multiplied by our C. And our C is going to be equal to, in this case, our bottom left, 3. So to work out the determinant of the matrix, it's going to be AD minus BC, 1 times 10 minus 2 times 3. So we know that 1 times 10 is going to be equal to 10. And then we're going to minus 2 times 3, which is equal to 6. So we're going to have 10 minus 6. The determinant of this matrix is going to be 4. So that's how we calculate our determinant. We can do another example really quickly. Uh, I'll put one up. So let's say we have uh, another matrix here. And we've got the numbers in it. We've got, I'll keep the same colors. We've got A is 6, we've got B is 3, we've got C is 9, and we've got D is going to be 15. So remember, our determinant is going to be A multiplied by D minus B times C. And these dots mean multiplication. So our A is the determinant of this matrix is going to be our A which is 6, multiplied by our D, which is 15. So we're going to multiply that by 15. We're going to subtract our B. So our B is here. B is 3. And we've got our B multiplied by our C, and our C is going to be 9. So it's going to be 6 times 15 minus 3 times 9. So we know that 6 times 15 is going to be 90 and then we can subtract our 3 times 9 which is just going to be 27 so we have 90 minus 27 and that's going to give us 63 so for any 2 by 2 matrix the determinant is always calculated using this formula here it's the exact same um, just make sure you know it it's going to become useful later when we're looking at taking the inverse of matrices and solving simultaneous equations so that's what we do uh, I'll put out some examples for you guys to have a go at. Thanks.